Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, everyone. So good to see you. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. And I'm so glad you could join me for this planner setup video. Today, I'm going to be setting up my happy planner, my Franken Mega Happy Planner, which has nine different planners in her. I'm going to be setting her up for the month of February and this is one of my favorite videos to film because I get to see all of the new February dividers and I just get to decorate for a whole fresh new month and it just feels like, you know, the world is your oyster when you switch into a new month in your happy planner. So if you're interested in seeing my setup and all the planners I use, just keep on watching. So I think I'm going to stay with this particular cover that says Hello 2022 with all of the cute little doodles on it. I think it's so cute and adorable, perfect for February, which, you know, is Valentine's Day month. And so uh, I'm feeling the cutesy. And I think I'm going to switch up the discs. I'm going to go with these hot pink discs and this one gold disc because... Um, I have a couple of the hot pink discs on another planner and so I don't have like a complete set of hot pink discs right now, but it's fine. She'll just have a gold tooth and but I'll switch those over. I'll switch them over to um to the uh I'll switch them over to um the new discs at the end of the video and i'll speed that up so we're just gonna take the stuff off the discs and lay it down over here and yeah so the first thing i'm gonna do is i think i'm gonna finally get rid of this page here this is my christmas cover page and it's about time that i move on from christmas and the holidays i try to hold on to the holiday spirit for as long as possible but it's about time to move on from it so i'm gonna go ahead and find a cover page that I'll uh, use from one of my other planners and I won't decorate it um, right now, but maybe I'll decorate it tomorrow or later today. So I think I'm actually gonna go with this cover page from this happy planner, which is a Mickey and Minnie undated vertical planner. And the reason I'm gonna go with this one here is cause I have some plans for how I wanna decorate my cover page. I'm gonna make it Valentine's themed. I was kind of inspired by this little, cute little image of Mickey and Minnie, um, you know, getting it on. And I don't, I'll probably cover this up honestly, but I might use some other stickers, um, some bigger, cuter stickers of Mickey and Minnie schmoozing. So, uh, I'm going to pop this down here for now and I'm going to put this to the side and I'll probably try to cover up this uh, overview with scrapbook paper or something but for now we'll just leave it there. Then we have my happy planner solar system, table of contents, and my yearly overview bookmark. And then we have my perpetual calendar, which is going to transfer over. And then we have my gratitude page, another bookmark, um, my habit tracker, as well as my New Year's resolutions, which I want to work on uh, this weekend. And of course, my sticky note dashboard is going to have to come with me into February as well my hourly block schedule. I'm going to keep that as well. And then I'm going to get rid of some of these hourly pages because, you know, once the day has passed, you really don't need to keep them around. Um, this I'm going to get rid of. I still have like a little bit that I could use there, but I'm really not feeling the setup. So I'm just going to get rid of those. And then I'm also going to get rid of this as well. I've realized that I don't really like just having an hourly schedule like this. I need to have it kind of like paired with a to-do list. So I'm going to get rid of those. And I'm just going to get rid of that as well. And we're just going to start off fresh in February. I'm going to get rid of all of the daily pages that I had worked on and... Uh, yeah, so then we'll transfer these blank pages over and then we'll transfer over these blank pages as well. These are super cute. Um, we have some plain grid paper that I want to keep around. I'm always like in the, uh, in the market for just plain grid paper. 
And then this is where we start uh, working with my planners. So we have my scrapbook divider that I use to separate the sections. And we're gonna go ahead and pull out um, this planner here. And here's my bookmark. Something that I need to do this weekend as well is use like clear tape to cover the little stickers up here because they tend to peel at the edges and get a little bit rough. So we need to figure that out. Um, and then, so this, what I like about the Happy Planner is that even if I set up my planner Saturday, I can still, you know, work in it, like work Saturday and Sunday in my planner because I have these days, uh, like still in the planner because I'm keeping the February monthly. So we need to return these pages to the planner they came from. So the planner that these pages came from is this guy here. This is the Plan Your Dreams Mickey planner. Very, very cute. And I'm just gonna slide them in here. There we go. And we're gonna take out uh, the month of February. And because this is an undated planner, I can pick whatever divider that I want. And we're just gonna go through them and I'm gonna pick one that appeals to me for the month of February. Mm, I like that one. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. It says celebrate every tiny victory. And it's very Valentine's Day themed for me because we have Mickey with his flowers for Minnie and uh, it's red, so it gives me that Valentine's Day feel. Oh, what am I doing? I'm putting it on the discs, no. So we're gonna just transfer these over to my pile. We have my monthly overview, and then this is an undated vertical. So we just have that uh, a couple of weeks here. And I think I'm gonna have to take out one of these pages because they always give you more pages than is necessary, but we'll, we'll do that later. Um, I'll put that down there. And then we'll transfer over the next scrapbook divider and we can take out these pages here and my bookmark and we'll keep this guy because it's the february monthly and we'll pull for the planner that these pages come from okay it took me a while to find that planner because um, I'm using the cover for this planner so I had like another cover on it to protect it and it took me a while to find it. But this is the February divider for this planner and it's so appropriate and cute and seasonal and I love it so much. So, oh, and we have little hearts like on the spine of the planner that's adorable. Oh, they're so cute. They are so cute. Oh, they're little lips. Oh, that's so adorable. I love that so much. So we have that. Oh my God, and we have little shamrocks for March. So what does that mean that we had for uh, January? Oh, okay, January we just had like fireworks. I could barely notice them. So these pages are gonna go um, in, in to that uh, planner. Okay, moving on to our third planner here. We have our scrapbook paper and then we're gonna take out this page and this month here. Let's take it out. Let's take it out. I love this so much. And uh, let's take out our bookmark. Okay, so we're going to keep the February monthly overview there. Let's put down our bookmark. Let's return these to the planner. And then this is the planner that these pages come from. It's a dashboard, very, very minimal. This is the new month here, Be In Love With Life. It's very classic, very minimal, very chic and elegant. I love it so much. So we're going to pop that onto the pile and return these pages to the planner. Moving on to our fourth planner, which is the current events planner in my life. Let's pull 
off these pages. This is a lined vertical colorful leopard planner. I use this to motivate myself to uh, be informed on current events and such. So let's let's leave this page which has the February uh, overview on it and then return these to the planner. And here's that planner. So let me pull for, let's see, where are we? February. Okay, so as you can see, some weeks I don't write as much as others, but some weeks I write a lot. So it all depends on the week. So this is the month of February here. Very cute. I really love the colorful leopard. Um, it says, being scared means you're about to do something really, really brave. I love that. I love that a lot. So we're going to just add our bookmark here and then the pages. Then another divider before we get into um, my spirituality section. So, okay, let's see. Let's pull out... Let's pull out these pages here. Whoops. Totally knocked you around. Okay, we can leave this page here because it's the February overview. And then let's find the planner. It's this one right here. So I'll pull for, uh, let's see, February. Okay, here's February. Oh, very cute. this one out and then add this pile of pages to the stack transfer the folder bookmark I'm still gonna keep my Aztec calendar and my moon calendar in here so I'll transfer that over my scrapbook divider and then this is my monthly uh, overview for my fitness planner. So that's my fitness planner divider cover. Let's pull this bookmark off and we'll pull these pages off and their bookmark. <laughs> so much going on and we'll transfer this one over and let's find that. Oh, we still need this bookmark as well. And we need the February pages for the fitness planner. Okay, so here's the fitness planner. Let's pull for February. Oh, I flipped right to it. Adore this. I adore this. I love these Karens. They're so cute. Uh, let's add these pages back in. And now we have February and we can just add that there. And we can move on to our, I've lost what number tracker this is, um, but this is my mood tracker. No, this is my wellness planner. Um, so let's pull all the stuff off. Up until the actual page. So we're going to return these pages to the planner, transfer this one over because it has my February on it. We'll need my bookmarks as well. And let's find that planner. So this is my wellness planner that I use. And we'll look for February here. I've already set up my mood tracker for the month. And we'll pull for this one. Hard to protect your, no, how to protect your vibe. One, let go of the things you can't control. Two, avoid comparing yourself to others. Three, don't do anything that doesn't feel right. Four, don't be afraid to spend time alone. Five, speak kindly to yourself and to others. Six, stay away from people who drain your energy. I love that. Great reminder. Ooh, this one's cute too. And then we can return these pages to, um, to the planner. And then I have my bedtime routine, which I'm gonna transfer over for now, but that's something I definitely wanna update this month. 
And then we have my bookmark, my sleep logs. I'm going to transfer that over. I am going to transfer this over as well. I have a couple of wellness pages from a Mickey Mouse wellness planner or creative journal that I still want to keep around. And then we're going to get into my eighth planner. This is my household planner. And this is my color block Mickey Mouse planner. So let me pull out these pages. We can transfer over the last page. And you know what? I'm actually going to keep the last two pages because it's still Saturday and Sunday. Like it's it's today's Saturday. It's Saturday morning. So I kind of want to keep this around so that I can remember, you know, I can refer to it. So we're going to keep both of these pages for now. But I'm going to return the rest to the planner. And here is the planner that I'm using. Let's see, February. So it's going to be this uh, this this divider here. I don't really like this divider too much, but it is what it is. And then we'll return, um, let's see, we'll return this these pages to the planner. And we've reached our last and final planner. Yay! So this is my meal prepping planner oh, and here's my bookmark can't forget that and so we're just going to pull out these pages we'll keep this page because it's the last page and I will add my bookmark here and let's find the meal planner here's the meal planner so we're going to pull for the month of February I love it I love these dividers so much. They look so delicious. Laughter is brightest where food is best. That's so cute. So we're gonna add that to the pile and then I can add these pages to um, back into the planner. And lastly, we'll pull for the folder and we're going to just pop these rings off. And now we have our entire stack of planner pages and I'm going to go ahead and put everything on these pink rings and then we'll be back. And just like that, she is done. I'm so happy I changed to the pink discs because it looks so cute and a Valentine's theme appropriate. So quickly, we're just going to go and recap everything that we've done. So I have a new title page that I'm going to decorate soon. Going to cover that up probably. Um, my Happy Planner and Solar System, Table of Contents, my Year in Review, my Perpetual Calendar, my Yearly Goals, my yearly habit tracker, my new year's resolutions, um, my sticky note dashboard, my block schedules, some hourly um, daily sheets, some filler paper, dot grid filler paper, and then and so I decided not to paper clip the scrapbook dividers to um, you know the the last week here in the month because it is currently Saturday morning, and I have all of Saturday and all of Sunday that I would like to you know use my planners. So I've decided to just pop in my bookmark right here, like right at that you know right between the scrapbook divider and the the last page of the weekly. And I'm just gonna go ahead and you know leave it like that and the Sunday evening I'll go ahead and go in and paper clip all of the pages to the dividers and that way I can again have that seamless transition so yeah and we have my February monthly that I need to set up this is for my science section um, my scientific research section super cute divider monthly calendar and the weeklies which this is undated so I'm gonna have to go in and set this all up 
before Monday. And then again, we have the second planner here. It's not paper clipped because I still want to work on some stuff over the weekend. And then we have my monthly overview. And I just have um, my bookmark here, which I'll go ahead and move to the page before. So that way I can just flip to, you know, the current day. And we have the February divider, which is so adorable and so cute. And I love these lips that we have just trailing down the spine here. It's going to get me really into the mood. And so there's that. And we have the next um, planner, which is my science communication um, planner and I have the monthly overview here and I'm actually going to again move my bookmark um, just one page over up so that way it just flips me directly to the current day so we have that and then this is the February divider which is so cute very minimal very chic so I love that and then we're gonna get into my fourth planner this is my current events planner um, i'm gonna go ahead and journal over the weekend about different articles i've read february overview and then we have the february monthly and weekly spreads so we have that all set up then we have my spirituality planner i have my bookmark here there's some stuff that i want to journal about um, in terms of faith and spirituality so we have this page open then the February monthly, which I want to set up, and then the February calendar. And we have the weekly pages. This month, they are yellow themed, so that'll be fun. Then we just have my folder and just some of my spiritual appendices. Uh, we have my Aztec calendar and then some of my moon calendar spreads. And then we have my fitness planner. So again, I have my last week of my fitness planner here ready for me to journal in and the February monthly. So we have that. And then the weekly spreads, which are pretty straightforward. And then we're going to go into my wellness section. We have my bookmark, the last couple of days of the week, February monthly my monthly mood tracker here that's all set up and then we just have the monthly spreads and then my bed bedtime routine um these are all like my appendices so yeah i'm just gonna leave those there some wellness pages and then we have my eighth planner which is my household planner so i have my bookmark here um, i have the last week still here uh, just because i want to reference that and then we have the february monthly overview the february calendar and the weekly pages and then we have the last planner in the lineup which is my meal planner um, we have the last week in here or yeah the last page of the last week of january in here because i still am working on it February monthly and then we have the February uh, weeklies and lastly we just have my folder with some stickers and stationery in there and that is it that's all um, so now what I'm gonna do how I like to set up my mega planner at the beginning of a month because I have so much going on is I'll take some time today and tomorrow to kind of set up my monthly overview pages for all of my planners um, sometimes I'll set up my monthly calendars as well and i will also set up all of the undated planners that i have right now i only have one undated planner so thankfully i only have to set up the entire month for one undated planner which is this one here so i'll go ahead and set up the undated planner i'll set up the monthly overview for all of my planner sections not all of them but most of them i'll set this up and what i will also do is i'll decorate um, the first two to three weeks of every single planner and i tend to just do it really really quickly i don't um, spend a lot of time on it i'll do like maybe five minutes um per like per planner like yeah like maybe i'll spend like three minutes doing one spread and then three minutes doing another spread and then that way it's about like 10 minutes to do each planner so that way i'm not doing too much and honestly it's i again it's i tend to like fill out my planner during the week i don't tend to fill it out um or like decorate it or fill it out like in one sitting because i find that i tend to just like add things you know as the week goes on so for me like 
putting down a couple of boxes, a couple of stickers, some checklists isn't doesn't take me a lot of time, but I'll go ahead and de decorate um, the spread as the week progresses. And it kind of isn't really finished until, you know, the last day of the week. So I'll go ahead and do that um, this weekend. So that is it. That's my entire planner setup. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know uh, your thoughts in the comments down below and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.